Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I have a little kind of tutorial but also what you guys can expect between the 5800X3D and the 5800X that's in this computer. This is my everyday computer, this is not my testing rig. I've got a different testing rig as well which is about the same. It's a bit better than this. But uh, before I continue, I'd like to let you guys know I fund everything on this channel myself. I don't reach out to anyone to get funding from them. So hence the unbiased reviews. So if you appreciate that, all you have to do is subscribe, like, watch more videos and you'll be supporting me. And a super thanks would be a real help as not only you'll be supporting me, but you'll also be ensuring that I could fund more videos on my channel. So that's the bad boy over here. If you want to see the unboxing of this or the 3800X, check the top right hand corner. Now I wish there was a way to completely open this. Unfortunately I can't. So I'll open this first. Get this out of the way. Being a everyday computer, it'll, it'll be really dusty. So apologies for that. Now first of all what I'll need to do is I'll need to take those fans off. So I'll try and do it with as little going back and forth as I can without taking it out if I don't have to. Okay so that's out. So is this one. So they're both out. So those are Noctua fans and that's the Noctua cooler. And if you might, you might be able to see one of the spring-loaded screws and there's another one on the other side it comes with this screwdriver that you'll need for this well you'll ha have to have it because otherwise it's impossible to get this out Okay, so as you can see, it's a good idea to give it a good clean after a while. As you can see, you guys, there's heaps of dust in here, you know, and that's not really good. And look at the thermal paste. That wasn't too bad, though I would say I could apply it a little bit better. So we leave the brackets in there because we're not going to change that. We're not, you know, it's the same socket. So all you need to do is just pull this. That basically releases the CPU and that's the 3800 that I had in there, X3800X and that's the 3800X3D. That is it, it's nice and clean for you now. So this is on the left is the Ryzen 7 5800X3D and on the right is 5800X. They're identical. There's nothing to tell them apart other than the logo. They're the same thickness as well. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So just need to make sure that that is basically, that that sign is basically cornered to that, there. And it should just drop in like that. There should, shouldn't be any issues with it at all and you can just close it and that's basically it guys Now all we need to do is apply some thermal paste onto it. I've got the Noctua thermal paste here That's how I like to apply thermal paste onto my computers So just closing that right back up so don't want to dry it out now yeah, just I'm, I'm going to use this to just basically spread it a bit out okay just to make sure it gets it everywhere okay so try and get it as evenly as is possible so that's my job at distributing it evenly Okay, so I've cleaned the cold plate out as much as I can, so it's nice and ready and I've given it a bit of a clean as well for this mount.
Okay, after tightening it not too much, just the right amount, I want you to put the fan back on. From memory, this went that way and this one went this way because I've left those at, at that direction. See these things? I've left it as is. I haven't twisted it around, so this will go this way. And another easy way to look at it is through this. So it shows here that it's going to be spinning that way and it's going to be pointing out. So we want this to be pointing out that way, okay? So what I'll do is I'll put this one on first. So now that that one is on, I can show you the same thing on this one. So out that way and going this way. So this won't go all the way because we've got the rams over here. And that's basically it guys. So that's the 3800X3D being swapped in instead of the 3800X. I hope you guys enjoyed it and a subscribe and a super like would really help out. Thank you for watching it to the end. I really appreciate it. Take good care. Bye bye.